The U.S. is set to relax those travel restrictions for fully vaccinated foreign travelers. And here to explain those changes, our Fox 5 travel expert, Tanya Swasbrook. Tanya, good morning. Good morning, Ro. Okay, first and foremost, where are you and where are you bringing <laughs> us this report? I, I think I, I cheated a little bit because we were texting, so somewhere near Cancun. Where are you? Right, so I'm in uh, Mayacoba, which is about an hour from Cancun and an hour from Tulum. I am so happy to be here because I am at the International Luxury Travel uh, Conference, ILTM. And so all of my colleagues that I haven't seen for about two years from all over the world are here from Italy, from France, from everywhere um, across the board. So happy to be back at conferences. What is happening at that conference? I'm fascinated to hear what the conversation is after the last year and a half, because I know right now travel is booming. Like you, you, you even said it's like you've never seen it like this before. I have never seen anything like this. None of us have. So there's a lot of joy that we're back together, that the Americans and everybody in the world is, is traveling. Um, but there's also a lot of confusion because things seem to change day by day. The good news is that the U.S. in November is opening their borders to American and, well, obviously American, but international vaccinated travelers. So that is fantastic news for the world of travel, for the U.S. and the world uh, across the board. Let's talk about somebody, if they have a family member and they're visiting from another country, how are the new rules going to affect them? Because like, you, you, I mean, look, you said that it's gonna be confusing no matter what. Right, and so right now, okay, so the name of the game is vaccination. So if you are a vaccinated traveler, independently of from where you're coming from, if you are accepted, uh, there's 33 new countries that the U.S. opened its borders to, including the U.K. and the E.U. So if you're from there uh, and you're vaccinated with one of the vaccines like Moderna, Pfizer, you still need to show a negative COVID test three days before. So you need to take that with you, but you will be allowed to come into the United States. For those that are not vaccinated, things will get a lot tougher to travel. So if you want, if you're not vaccinated and you are an American, let's say, to come back to the United States, of course you can still come in, sure. but you need to take a test 24 hours in advance. And once you land, you need to test again or, or show proof that you've purchased a viral test to be taken when you arrive. Okay, uh, we're looking for tips now in, in terms of those looking to travel outside of the U.S., perhaps to other countries, international travel. What do we need to know? It seems like some of the rules are kind of similar, but kind of not. Yeah, it's just, again, you need to do your homework because yeah. right now what's happening is a lot of the countries, they're requiring you to fill out this online form before you arrive. Mm -hmm. Many are requiring a negative uh, PCR or antigen test, usually 48 hours before. Some require you to buy insurance that will cover you in case something happens in, regarding oh, wow. COVID. So if you don't have that, they will not let you in. Some will require you to quarantine still, or this is, this is interesting because some countries, what they're doing, they're requiring you to quarantine if you don't have a vaccine, which is children so mm. it's a little bit confusing right now because you could go and have uh you're, you're vaccinated but obviously your five-year-old isn't and they would need to quarantine for oh, a few wow. days okay so right and so coming back to the united states you will have to test independently if you're vaccinated or not so just make sure that you know how and where to get it when you are traveling All and also one big yeah, thing yeah. now no i was gonna say one big thing now is that a lot of countries are requiring you to show proof of vaccine to go into any restaurant so like if you go to paris if you want to go to a restaurant you want to go to a museum you have to you have to show that a proof of a vaccine and when you say proof of vaccine people then will ask well okay is that the actual physical card is a picture good enough is it up uploading your information to to an app uh, who's going to accept what from where yeah, that is the most, uh, oh my gosh, that has been crazy because the United States has not gotten a, any sort of app or any sort of thing that is consistent across the board. Uh, Europe has, they have the EU um, uh, COVID uh, proof that you get a QR code. Um, so now what you, what you have to do is not, not being funny, but you bring in the paper proof or you download one of those apps that are out there like Verify, Airside, or one that is within your state. Like California has a great one. Um, if you go into uh, ca.gov, you can actually download your information and then you get a QR code as well. But with us Americans, make sure that if you are traveling, you have to take your your paper or at least something that is legit where it has like that the when you got the vaccine from where and from whom. And you got to do all this stuff. Otherwise, you're not going to go anywhere and you're not going to get to enjoy it if you do. So you got to do your homework like Tanya said. That's it.
Right, and and book now because yep. as we know, Raúl, everything is is crazy. <laughs> Revenge travel, one hundred percent. Yeah, that, I was trying to talk to Tanya. This whole holiday travel season, it's everything's booked already, and people are planning well in advance. Uh, Tanya Swasbrook, always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Enjoy uh, Mexico. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>